guys welcome to our channel knowledge world in this video we'll be learning the first chapter of class 10 icsc chemistry the periodic table so let's begin so what is the periodic table the periodic table is an arrangement of chemical elements in the order of their atomic number electronic configuration and recurring chemical properties in a tabular form the 115 known elements are arranged in the periodic table in the order of their increasing atomic number and show the trends of their properties the periodic table can be used to derive the relationship between the properties of elements it can be used to predict the properties of new elements which are yet to be discovered and also provides a useful framework for analyzing the chemical behavior of elements the modern periodic table has 18 vertical columns called groups and 7 horizontal rows called periods so now let's look at the approaches to the periodic classification of elements before the modern periodic table so first was the Daubonnier triads in the year 1817 Daubonnier classified elements with similar chemical properties into group of three called triads he noted that the atomic mass of the middle element in the triad is the arithmetic mean of the other two elements for example the atomic mass of lithium was 7 and the atomic mass of potassium was 39 so the atomic mass of sodium was the arithmetic mean of the other two elements so 7 plus 39 by 2 that is 23 so this was the Daubonnier's law of triads. So next came the Newland's law of octaves. In 1864, Newland's arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic mass and noticed that the eighth element was similar in physical and chemical properties to the first element. Then came the Mendeleev's periodic law. In the year 1869, Mendeleev stated the law of chemical periodicity. The physical and chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. That is, when elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses, the elements with similar properties are repeated after certain regular intervals. This is called Mendeleev's periodic law. So, the Mendeleev's periodic law had some anomalies. There were position of hydrogen, position of isotopes, position of noble gases and cause of periodicity. So, next came the modern periodic table. The Mendeleev's periodic table had some limitations. There were the position of hydrogen was not justified in the Mendeleev's periodic table. The discovery of isotopes revealed another limitation of the Mendeleev's periodic table. Although Mendeleev's arranged the element in increasing order of their atomic masses, there were instances where he had placed an element with a slightly higher atomic mass before an element with a slightly lower atomic mass. The limitations of the Mendeleev's periodic table forced the scientists to believe that the atomic mass could not be the basis for classification of elements. So, in 1913, Henry Mosley demonstrated that the atomic number instead of atomic mass is a more fundamental property for classifying elements. So, the table that is obtained when the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number is called the modern periodic table or long form of the periodic table. The modern periodic table contains seven horizontal rows called periods and 18 vertical columns called groups. Apart from the seven rows, there are two additional rows placed separately at the bottom of the table. The modern periodic table is also called the long form of the periodic table. The similar properties which recur after a regular intervals are called periodic properties. So now let's look at the modern periodic law. The physical and chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic numbers. So the long form of the periodic table that is the modern periodic table is based upon the modern periodic law. So now let's talk about groups and periods. Groups, the modern periodic table has 18 vertical columns known as groups arranged from left to right in the order. A group is determined by the number of electrons present in the outermost shell. The elements in group 1, 2 and 13 to 17 are called normal elements. Elements in group 3 to 12 are called transition elements. And in the group 18 at the extreme right contains noble or inert gases. Reactive metals are placed in group 1 and 2. Transition elements, metals are placed in the middle. Non-metals are placed in the upper right corner of the periodic table. So now let's talk about periods. The horizontal rows of elements in the periodic table are called periods. There are seven periods in the long form of the periodic table. The first period consists of two elements called the shortest period. The second and third period contain eight elements called short period. Fourth and fifth period contain 18 elements each called long periods. The sixth period contains 32 elements and is the longest period. The seventh period is yet an incomplete period. The elements in the period have consecutive atomic numbers. 
So now let's talk about periodicity. The properties which repeat after regular intervals are called periodic properties and the phenomenon is known as periodicity in elements. The periodic properties of elements are atomic size. Atomic size is the distance between the center of the nucleus of an atom and its outermost shell. Metallic character. Those elements which have a tendency to lose their valence electrons and form a positive ion are considered to have metallic character. Non-metallic character, those elements which have a tendency to gain electrons in order to attain an octet in the outermost orbit are considered to have non-metallic character. Chemical reactivity in metals, greater the tendency to lose electrons, greater is the re reactivity. In non-metals, greater the tendency to gain electrons, greater is the reactivity. Ionization energy, the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom and convert it into a positively charged atom is known as ionization energy. Electron affinity, the amount of energy released while converting a neutral atom into a negatively charged ion by addition of electron is known as electron affinity. Electron negativity, the tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself is called electron negativity. Then comes the atomic number and the mass number. So now let's talk about the periodic trends. The elements in the periodic table are arranged in such a way that the elements with similar behavior are found in the same column. The table also contains four rectangular blocks with similar chemical properties. In general, within one row, that is one period, the elements on the left are metals and the elements on the right are non-metals. This arrangement displays periodic trends, which is elements with similar properties are placed together in the same column or same row. So now let's look at the reasons why the trends are seen. Trends in the periodic table exist because of a similar atomic structure of the elements within their periods and because of the periodic nature of elements. Periodic trends have specific patterns present in the periodic table and display different aspects of an element such as the size of an element, atomic radius, electronic properties, melting point, electron negativity, ionization, electron affinity and metallic character. Also using these trends, the chemists can quickly predict the elements properties. So that's it for today guys. If you think the video was good, then give a like to this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel Knowledge World for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.